pretty. <laughs> I know. So. What year is this again? 1932. Yeah. I believe. And um, this is a Martin. Uh, and Martin made a handful of Koa guitars over the years. Um, and they're just beautiful. Martins from this time period at all are just, like, they're just really, it's just, the, the 30s are kind of commonly regarded as their golden, it's like the golden their golden decade. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this one has a really nice thick neck to it, but it feels very refined. Um, that one is a more modern ukulele. Mm -hmm. For uh, Halekua. Halekua, yeah. It's gorgeous, I love yeah. the neck. Yeah. Uh, you want to play another one? Yeah, sure. I'm going to stick with the theme of songs from that time period. Uh, I'm going to do my key. Also, since we're near Waikiki. Right? Yeah. <laughs>
so cool it's amazing with these instruments these old instruments is that this was they're from a time in um making where like a lot of the decisions made for instrument design since then were made for playability mm -hmm. but kind of at the expense of the sound right this is like kind of the last window where they were really just all of the decisions for this guitar were made for sound. There's no cutaway. <laughs> there's no. Uh, uh, there's no two extra frets up here. If I want to go up there, I have to do the classical thing. But just listen to that. The amazing thing is that normally when you pick up an instrument this old, it really doesn't play that well. But these have been just maintained and worked on, and they feel like they were built last year, but you know they weren't. Right. And it's very special. Yeah. Just very well cared for instruments. It's beautiful. Thank you again. Like, <laughs> Thank you. Like little stories. Yes, takes you back. I always find that guitars and ukuleles both from different periods, it's like they explain to you a little bit of why the music sounded the way it did mm -hmm. at that time. Like this one kind of has that like it's very 